Good morning, David Drews. How are you doing today, man? JB Thompson, how are you doing today? Look at, oh, good morning. Hope you're having a great day. It is Wednesday. Can you believe it's already Wednesday? David Campos, out for a walk. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm sure you already got your reading in and all that. Morning, morning. JB's wishing happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Good morning to David as well. So hope you're having a great week. Um, if you are in the United States, hope you had a great 4th of July weekend. And uh, I know I normally do the do my periscopes a little earlier, but I think I'm going to start doing them a little bit later because I think more people are up and awake. So uh, so what I want to go over today is, is this book called Think and Grow Rich. And, uh, and I know David Drews that's on here. I know he's read it. J.B. Thompson, he's read it. Um, if, if you've never heard of the book, Think and Grow Rich, it's one of the most amazing books that's ever been written of all time. It was originally published in 1937 by Napoleon Hill. And I mean, that's, what is it, 80 years ago? That's crazy, right? So, um, so Think and Grow Rich. And, and what he did is, Napoleon Hill had actually interviewed Andrew Carnegie uh, back in the day and Andrew Carnegie said go ahead and you know interview he pretty much challenged him to to interview all these people to come up with this program to call, come up with this information to help people think and grow rich and think and grow rich actually came out from from the book um, it's actually sort of like a like a compilation called the laws of success that's actually where it came from so when you see the book the think and grow rich think and grow rich actually isn't the book that was created it was the laws of success that was created and and now that you see like think and grow rich like this is um this is the book that i i'm on a subscription i get get a book every single month this is the book i just got um i've read it before uh, I'm reading this because this is actually, it's revised and updated for the 21st century. Some of the stories in this book, because it was written such a long time ago, some of them, I'm not going to say they're not as relatable, but some of them are more um, uh, relevant today's time, right? So what I'm going to be going over today, and I guess, it, David, hey, hello, hey, hey, where, where are you uh, broadcasting in from today, David? Uh, I'm over in Wisconsin was state of Wisconsin today here so Mexico where in Mexico David I'm curious my wife lived in Mexico for quite some time uh, she's traveled there I've been to Mexico Playa del Carmen is amazing and uh, um, uh, is am I pronouncing this right and say yes or no is it Quanahuac Quanahuac is it uh, by Cuernavaca no, where where is it close to? So Chihuahua. No, what's what's it what's it close to? Where where in Mexico? Is it by Mexico City, or is it down by the uh, down by the coast? Oh, okay. So it's okay. So it's actually right on the border. Or not on the border? Yeah, sort of like by by the border. So cool. It's right on the border. Awesome. Cool. Cool. My wife, uh, she, she, my wife speaks Spanish, and she worked for a large trucking company, and and she dealt with loads coming in and out of Laredo, Texas, for you know for several years. She's no longer doing that, but um, so she speaks Spanish, and she's got some friends that live down in Mexico, and um, she lived in Cuernavaca for I don't know probably three, four, or five months. Taught English there, and uh, it was awesome. Beautiful city, beautiful city, Cuernavaca. So, and then we, we've obviously been to some different areas. So that's cool. That's cool. We got Mexico on today. So what I'm going to be going over today is, uh, and, you know, and as I go over this, uh, this Think and Grow Rich, if you, if you haven't read the book, go, go and get the book. Yeah, go ahead. What's your question, David? Do, do I know Ty Lopez? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know who Ty Lopez is. I think I've heard, I, I've heard of him. Um, is he like an entrepreneur? Does he do a lot of periscopes? I don't know. I, I think I, I think I've heard of him, but but I don't know who he is. So so I don't have I don't have an opinion. Sorry. I'll look him up though. Now that you brought up his name, 
so um, so I'm gonna go over this real quick uh, just these he's a millionaire and thinks like Napoleon Hill well I guarantee you that he's read this book more than once so so that's awesome that's awesome so you got to surround yourself with people that have uh, gigantic success if you want some success and you just got to get around the right information the right people and <laughs> now you listen it's all good man it's all we sort of just free flow on the periscope I'm just here to provide some value about finances so um, so if you don't have the book I'm gonna go through what he does in this book is there's six steps on how to um, six practical steps on how to um, I'll just read the paragraph the method by which desire for riches can be transmuted into its financial equivalent consists of six definite practical steps okay so so I'm gonna go over these and you know if you want you can take notes if if you miss out on some go, go ahead and hit the replay that's fine and um, the, these are these are the beginning steps of, of what he says he interviewed over 500 of the most wealthy people in the world when he wrote this book so absolutely amazing uh, who he learned these from so so step one is just fixing your mind the exact amount of money that you desire whether it's like a lump sum or how much you want to make per year or whether it's how much you want to make this week how much you want to make this month what is that number right fix in your mind the exact amount of money that you desire you can't just say I want plenty of money or I want a lot of money it's got to be a number right be definite as to the amount and then step two is determine exactly what you intend to give in return for the 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 money that you desire now this book is called think and grow rich right it's not saying think and do and grow rich it says think and grow rich but but step two is the do part step two says what what are you what are you gonna give in return for it you can't think your way to riches you can you, it starts there but there, there must be a return for that value for you to create an income for you to create money there must be uh, an exchange of value right so and I'm not sure if, if I'm on I'm if I'm even on right now for Periscope but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep rolling here anyways so you know, I own my own company uh, it's like a financial coaching company helping people with their finances and what I do is if I'm gonna provide value to people right so so if I don't provide any value I can't expect to you know create any income right so step two is give in return for it and then three is establish a definite date when you intend to possess the money you desire so the first three steps are pretty simple two what are you gonna to do to get that money and three when do you want to buy pretty simple right there right and then four is create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once so whatever your plan is whatever your plan is start carrying out that plan but then I would you know recommend that you get this book or just you know keep plugging into my periscopes maybe I, maybe I can help you with that a little bit and then um, so step David Drews you're back welcome I don't know what's going on with my uh, Wi-Fi here obviously it's probably not going very well that's that's fine I'm gonna keep rolling along here step five write out a clear concise statement of the amount of money you intend to attend to acquire mission state what you intend to give in return for the money and describe clearly the plan through which you intend to accumulate it right the this the, this is what all of these people that Napoleon Hill had interviewed they had did they, they've done these steps they did these steps they they did all of these steps and that's why he put the book together to help people create wealth right and then the sixth statement or the sixth step is to read your statement aloud twice daily once just before uh, going to bed and once after getting up in the morning and as you as as you read see and feel and believe yourself already in possession of the money so so those though the steps this is gold right here this is absolute gold absolute gold and now I've read I've, I've read this book and I'm excited about to get back into it because as you read and you live you start experiencing more connections going in and out I'll catch the replay perfect later I might actually end up redoing this one uh, just because this is such an important topic so <clears throat> so how much money do you want what are you gonna give in return for it when would you like that money right create a plan to get that money 
and then write out a clear and concise plan specifically. So write out, so step five is almost the um, summary of steps one through four. Please read. I might just redo this periscope later today if this isn't working out, but I guess you can call this a uh, you know, practice, whatever. Um, and then six is just read the statement aloud. So what I'll do, there's like not any, there's not anyone watching this right now because it keeps going in and out and about here. So, um, so if you get this message, awesome. And if not, maybe this afternoon when I'm, when I'm back up, um, back up in Green Bay, I'll, I'll redo this message and it'll be a little bit better. So hope you have a great day. I'm not sure if this is going to even go up on Periscope because the connection's super, super bad. I apologize. And uh, have a great day and I will talk.